99% of people, products and businesses have two brands. The world's second wealthiest man, the founder of Amazon and Blue Our Origin, Jeff Bezos, defined a brand as what people say about you when you're not in the room. Whilst recognising the validity of this definition, I take issue with the word people, because at the end of the day, the only people that matter are your target audience. A better definition might be what your target audience says about you when you're not in the room. I can think of nothing worse than fighting for a car parking bay, being herded through the aisles of Ikea, eating shitty meatballs and then having to assemble a mediocre product I just purchased. Now that doesn't mean that Ikea has a bad brand. It certainly doesn't mean that Ikea should change its brand, especially given how successful it's been. This simply reflects the fact that, not, that I am not a member of the IKEA target audience and that my opinion about them and their brand is irrelevant. An optimal brand will inevitably alienate some audiences. The strength of the Bezos definition of a brand lies in its focus on the consumer and the recognition that most individuals products and enterprises have two brands, their optimal brand and their actual brand. The optimal brand is what the target audience needs to say about you if sales and margins are to be maximised. The actual brand is what the target audience does say about you when you're not in the room. Further, it is the actual brand the consumers buy. Branding is the process of identifying the optimal brand, identifying the actual brand, identifying the gap between the optimal and the actual brand, then eliminating that gap between the optimal and actual brand. Some brands, like IKEA and Apple, continually address all four of these branding requirements. Most brands, however, just define the optimal brand and then hope for the best, forgetting that purchasers never buy on the basis of the optimal brand. The insights? Your optimal brand is the one that will maximise sales and margins. Secondly, your actual brand is what your target audience says about you when you're not in the room. And thirdly, it is the actual, not the optimal brand that your target audience buys or does not buy, as the case might be. Some questions to ponder. Firstly, what is your optimal brand? What will maximise your sales and margins? Secondly, what is your actual brand? What does your target audience say about you or your brand when you're not in the room. And thirdly, what is the gap between your optimal and actual brand? And what strategies do you have to eliminate that gap? For more, visit www.djohncarlsonesq.com That's www.djohncarlsonesq.com Or email me, John C at djohncarlsonesq.com That's John C at djohncarlsonesq.com. I'm John Carlson. Thanks for listening.